Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. So I'm going to do a comparison review between the Lightbook Mars and the Lightbook Muses. Uh, they just released the new Muses here on the right last week. Um, and I straight off noticed some differences between it and the Mars. I mean, they're largely the same. They both have octa-core processors, two gigabytes of RAM. You got a 7.8 inch ink screen. The main difference with the Muses is add stylus support with the Wacom touchscreen. So you get the stylus. Uh, you can use it to interact with the UI. You can also use it to uh, write notes on the screen. It's got this note app included. Um, and then you've got the different pressure sensitivity as well. So you got the option for pressure sensitive handwriting or just the regular um, and then it's also you can also use the uh, stylus to write on PDFs. So let's go ahead and talk about the screen and the front light first. That's probably the biggest difference between these two devices. I mean, they both run the same software. Uh, and aside from the Wacom touchscreen on the Muses, uh, the front lights are a little bit different. As you can see here, it's a little bit wider on the Muses. And the frame kind of helps sort of just give it that look. I kind of really like the white color of it. Uh, and then the uh, orange here. It's just a little bit oranger. Uh, as you can see, though, there's a little bit more light bleed on the Muses. You get a little bit brighter spot at the bottom. Uh, but front lights vary so much from one to the next. You can only really use this as a guideline. Um, I mean, they might be different uh, from one, you know, from one Mars to the next. They might be a little bit different. So uh, when you turn the front light off on these two devices, um, you can see a clear difference in the screen. Even though they have the same 7.8 inch ink screen, they're doing something different. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a bit, the background's quite a bit darker on the Muses than it is on the Mars. Uh, but the weird thing about uh, the Muses is like when you look at it like in person, when it's close up, I don't know if it's going to show up really good on this camera here. I'll do a little close up here. Uh, the text is clearly um, sharper on the Muses. Um, it's got more of a clear look. It's a little bit darker and finer detail there. Uh, it's got kind of a little bit more of a cloudiness to the Mars. So I got these both running the same or the latest software for each of these. So they're both using the same default font type. So I don't know, for whatever reason, the background's a little bit darker on the Muses, but the uh, text is a little bit clearer as well. So uh, one big advantage for the Lightbook Mars is it has the memory card slot. Uh, it's got the old school USB and it's just got the same sort of material on the back as the front here. Uh, so yeah, for some inexplicable reason, they decided to remove the memory card slot on the Muses and instead they replaced it with, uh, speakers. Yeah. I don't know. Speakers sound terrible on these devices. They always have. So I don't know why they even added it. Uh, this device though, it has the metal back a little bit more of a nicer feel to it. Uh, and then it also has the USB C port. So the Muses is just slightly thinner. There's not a big difference there. It does weigh about 30 grams heavier than the Mars. Um, so yeah, I mean the build quality is about the same on both of them. I do like the addition of the button on the Muses makes it easier and of course like I mentioned earlier you got the Wacom touch screen uh, and then you've got the ability to take notes. So uh, that's the main difference with this device. It also has the eraser on the back of the pen that comes with it here. Um, it also has a button on there like Onyx's devices, but it doesn't do anything. You got the area erase as well, which works a little bit better and like I said, you can also use the the um, stylus to write notes on PDFs. I'll show all this stuff more in the main review for the Lightbook Muses. Uh, check out the ebook reader YouTube channel. I already got a, a review of the Lightbook Mars posted a long time ago, so I'll post a full review of the Muses here too, soon as well. So, uh, like I said earlier, they both run the same software for the most part. There are a few differences with the Muses, like it has a sound recorder because it has the microphone, um, and then it also has a couple of different options for the touchscreen, of course. Um, but largely the settings menu, they're the same. You can uh, set a long press for the home button to take you to a different location with the Muses. Uh, but for the most part, you got all the same features here. Like I said, I had them both running this latest software available for these devices. Uh, and there's not really much difference between them here. Mostly it all just comes down to the hardware differences between these two. I do like having the, ba the uh, physical back button on the Muses because you don't have to reach all the way to the top left corner every time. Uh, and with Android, you are using the back button quite frequently. Uh, the Muses also has twice as much storage space with 32 gigabytes to the Mars is 16 gigabytes. Um, but largely it comes down to the difference with the screen. Um, it's just a little bit clearer on the Muses for whatever reason. I also like the front light, how it's a little bit more white uh, when you're using the cool color tone. So it has the orange color tone and the cool color tone. You can't mix them like you can on other devices. Uh, but up close, the like the Muses has that darker background, but when you have the front light on, it looks like it has a lighter color to it here. It just sort of depends on which uh, color you're going with, but like again, the uh, just text stands out a little bit better on the Muses for whatever reason, just a little bit clearer. Um, but it does have that light bleed more at the bottom. I don't know if it's just this, this specific unit or if it's something that they're pretty common with them, but 
Um, overall, I do like the music better and the ability to write notes on the screen is quite nice. Uh, the addition of the back button and they also added obviously the more storage space as mentioned earlier but uh, largely they they are the same device with the same software uh, if you don't need the stylus there really is no reason to pay the premium for the muses unless you really want uh, just like the wider color with a little bit clearer screen but uh, I mean for the most part they're largely the same uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here just wanted to show these quick differences between these two uh, as far as the features with the muses um, but again, um, I'll be posting a full review of the music soon. So check that out. I'll go into a bit more detail then. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.